Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe, and we're back at Mr. Rick's shop today, checking out our ND EZ heads for the 508 stroker build. Or here's one of these heads. Sent this off to get milled, so the chamber would be 73 cc's. So what I'm gonna have Mr. Rick do, and he's helping me with, is to kind of double check their stuff. We're gonna check one chamber in both heads, see how close they are. So it'll be a fun kind of check your work deal. These are pretty nice castings. I did an unboxing video of them before. We also checked the guide clearance um, on a couple, uh, on the other head that's set up over there right now in his fixture. But we just wanted to be sure they were close. They do seem to be really nice. They do have some CNC work done from the factory. We also checked the spring rate on these springs to see how well they're going to work out with our comp uh, cam. It's like a 550 lift. I can put the specs up for it here. But getting these checked out, they should be ready to bolt on whenever they leave here if everything looks good. So I wanted to bring you all along for that. And we can sneak over and look at his Hemi again. He's made some progress on it. Well, we want to go to 190 because that's what that's calling for. And the boy there, not far away, uh, well, not far at all, really. That thing was calling for 111. Yep. These are 125. Um, So we need to write down where you're going to be at. Okay. You know what I mean? And uh, so let's, by the way, sometimes you can change retainers and, and you can make changes. You're going to be installed at 142. Now let's go to the 550 lift. Uh, off of this, which we're going down to 1.350. Okay. If it was installed at 1.9. And at 1.350, you got 367. Mm hmm. 367. But where you're at, which is minus 40, you're gonna be down to 1.310. You're gonna be at 386, 385. Okay, 385. Sneaking up on it. Yeah. Boom. I think we're there. We might get hold one more drop. Call that 235. Okay. So he has a giant, this is a beret, isn't it? I think that's what they call it giant beret because he typically does hemi heads not these 
wedge Mopar heads. We started at 162. So we're calling that 73. I might be able to get another drop in there and make it 72. <laughs> but that's okay. Dang close. So yeah, that one's on the money, right? Yep. That's the head number one. Yep. Looks good. Here's head number two. 159. And our giant Hemi Beret. I think I see a little drop there. I hope I don't go over it. Yeah, we got a little bit. I've got that thing a little too close to the head to see me. There we go. Boom. Okay. We are at. 2, 25, 30, 2, 32. And we maybe could have got just a yeah. one more drop in there. So yeah. very, very close to each other. Yeah, I think I think he did fine. We got a nice finish. On so it. what is this block? It's a Hemi Mega Block. And they just leave the lifters blank so you can do whatever you want to with them? Right. Nice. And the reason is... If you're building a high output engine, they can spread the lifters to two inches instead of 180, and it straightens up the push rod some for high RPM operation. So what's the max like lifter size they put in those? Well, it'll still be a 904 most likely, but they can spread them to straighten out the push rod angle. Hemi's got bad push rod angles, not like a wedge where you got them straight, mm -hmm. you know, and, and so they, they try to straighten them out as much as they can and that, that's the easiest way you can get two hundred thousandths that way okay we're going to drop our heads on and see just how the intake looks right now i brought it with us so we might as well so we put our heads on they just have one bolt holding them where they won't fall off and a gasket in place and this is for hypothetical only but the gap here is super tight and nice both sides there's no gasket on the intake obviously but everything across here is tight front to rear it comes with a holes oval already right through there I think it looks really good and it may not be settled in the perfect spot but I'll use my endoscope later. There we go. Flashlight on here. There's our port. I don't know if you can see in there or not. But we'll take a closer look later, but this is knife edged intake runners. And they're huge. Get all funnel in. See a little edge there, so maybe it needs to go forward just a little. But that's a cool mock-up. So here's the Hemi block. And work has progressed greatly since we last saw it. If you want to see the build, you have to go to Mr. Rick's channel. It's called Rick Seaman. I'll put a link for it. And he knows more about it than I do. I'm not going to try to act like I know a lot about Hemis. But if I owned one, I wouldn't mind it being this one. I appreciate y'all watching. I hope this was informative. And I'll catch you next time.